Now, in addition to this EFS, the, the basic EFS certificate itself, there's another certificate that is very important for us to have so that we can support the third party recovery of data that for some reason, the keys get lost. The user loses their laptop and no longer has the keys to unencrypt data that they've encrypted and stored somewhere. It's this second certificate template down here called the EFS Recovery Agent Template that you can also customize here in the Certificate Templates console. And then once you're complete with that customizing, you can come over here and actually enable the template for the issuance of certificates. That happens over here if I right click and choose New Certificate Template to Issue. Now, I've already done that here because you can see the EFS Recovery Agent, the certificate template itself is now available in those templates that are available for issuance. What this means is that I can use this Recovery Agent template in order to define which users should have the privileges of recovering some other user's encrypted content. Let me show you where this comes into play. If we go ahead and minimize this and come back here into our group policy object, which would be right about here, let's come back to public key policies and then the EFS subfolder down here. It's in this location where we can go about adding or creating what are called data recovery agents right here. These data recovery agents make use of that EFS recovery agent certificate in order to define which users should be able to recover some other person's data. Now, because I'm logged in here as the G Shields user, I can choose here to just create a data recovery agent as opposed to adding one that's already been requested and received here on this machine previously. If I choose to create a data recovery agent, that will go through the request and issuance of one of those EFS recovery certificates, the templates of which we saw just a second ago. This certificate is similar to the certificate we used before in encrypting data, but this is specifically designed for an administrator type person who needs to unencrypt data should the person's original encrypting certificate get lost. It is highly recommended that if you're planning on having EFS functioning in your domain, that you have at least one or more individuals defined as data recovery agents and possessing certificates in some secure location so that they have the ability to recover that information if a person should lose their keys.